It's funny because my lawyers said, you know, every outlet in the world wants to talk to you. And again, I'm like, I'm not defining myself from some headline. I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. Hold on to your seats, folks, because Hollywood's latest feud is heating up and it's juicier than a scandalous tabloid headline. Ice Cube, the outspoken rap icon known for his defiance against industry norms, has found himself embroiled in a bitter clash with none other than Cuba Gooding Jr., the beloved actor of Jerry Maguire fame. But what sparked this explosive confrontation? Well, it seems like trouble began brewing when Cuba's connections to none other than Diddy, the hip-hop mogul with a notorious reputation, came to light. And if that wasn't enough drama for you, hold on to your hats because there's more. Ice Cube reportedly got his hands on some incriminating videos implicating both Cuba and Diddy in compromising situations, and he's not holding back? I don't think Ice Cube knows who the puppeteers are. He understands that there are puppeteers, and he can tell from his own experience both personally. But how did it all start in a twist that could rival the most gripping Hollywood blockbuster? It's been revealed that Cuba Gooding Jr. has been dragged into a legal battle involving none other than Diddy himself. That's crazy. That's the craziest thing I'd ever. And then, they, <laughs> hey, how about me? I wake up in the morning, I turn on the stage show, and Hector, Cuba Gooding Jr. I was like, excuse me! The lawsuit filed earlier this year by a producer named Lil Rod accuses Diddy of unspeakable acts, including sexual harassment and threats. And guess who's been named as a defendant in this sordid affair? That's right, our very own Cuba Gooding Jr. According to court documents obtained by Hip Hop Docs, Lil Rod claims that Cuba wasn't just an innocent bystander in this saga. No, he allegedly played a hands, on role, quite literally, in the scandalous events with accusations of inappropriate touching and fondling that will leave you gasping for breath. It, it wasn't that it was, my behavior was focused towards women. It was, I was carefree in front of groups and crowds of people. So will Ice Cube unleash the full force of these damning revelations, or will Cuba manage to salvage what's left of his reputation? Brace yourselves, folks, because this Hollywood showdown is about to get wild. Amidst the rising tension between Ice Cube and Cuba Gooding Jr., the stage is set for a showdown of epic proportions. But before we delve into the brewing conflict, let's rewind the tape and take a closer look at Ice Cube's history of outspokenness and his bold accusations against the industry's gatekeepers. That I'm not part of the club. Ice Cube, the iconic rap legend, isn't one to mince words. He's been a vocal advocate for change within the entertainment industry, frequently shining a spotlight on what he perceives as its dark underbelly. His belief in the existence of the enigmatic Illuminati, a shadowy group purported to control various aspects of society, has been a recurring theme in his discourse. I uh, did they work with artists. Did they manipulate you? No. I'm a, I'm Never. A, I'm an independent artist. Always have been. In a recent interview with The Breakfast Club, Ice Cube reiterated his stance, suggesting that there are unseen forces at play dictating who succeeds and who gets left behind in the cutthroat world of entertainment. I think they're all around, Ice Cube asserted, referring to the elusive gatekeepers who manipulate the industry's strings. I don't think it's worse in any profession. I think there's people that make sure you stay in your lane. And when the conversation veered towards the possibility of the Illuminati's involvement, Ice Cube didn't shy away from the speculation. Probably so, he admitted, acknowledging the pervasive influence of these unseen power brokers. I don't know, none of them. They don't come up to me and say, hey, I'm Illuminati. But Ice Cube's crusade against the industry's gatekeepers extends beyond mere speculation. He's been a vocal critic of the music industry's role in perpetuating criminal behavior and contributing to the mass incarceration epidemic. During an appearance on Bill Maher's Club Random podcast, Ice Cube didn't hold back, alleging a direct financial link between rap labels and private prisons. Who benefits and profits off our bickering and division? Ice Cube challenged, pointing a finger at the intertwined interests of the music industry and the prison industrial complex. Follow the money. Ice Cube's accusations didn't stop there. He suggested that the same entities pulling the strings behind record labels are also invested in the profitability of private prisons. Literally the same people who own the labels own private prisons. But Ice Cube's rhetoric isn't merely conjecture. It's rooted in a deep-seated skepticism born from years of navigating the industry's treacherous waters. He's spoken candidly about the pressures artists face to conform to a predetermined narrative with record labels exerting their influence to shape both the music and the message. Record company guys sit around and tell the artists, this is hot, say that, do this. We're gonna have this guy write the lyrics. And while 
some may dismiss Ice Cube's claims as mere conspiracy theories, his words strike a chord with many who perceive a deeper truth lurking beneath the surface of the entertainment industry. The notion of a secret meeting convened to engineer music that promotes criminal behavior isn't entirely far, fetched, especially in an industry known for its cutthroat tactics and shadowy dealings. People at the top can manipulate what's going on with the people who are okay. bickering and fighting. But what about Ice Cube's personal connections? Despite his reluctance to name names for his own safety, rumors have swirled for years about his uneasy relationship with none other than Diddy and his close associate, Jay-Z. While Ice Cube has largely kept his distance from their inner circles, recent events suggest that tensions between these power players have reached a boiling point. It's no secret that Ice Cube and Diddy have never seen eye to eye. In fact, sources close to the rapper, Turned, act to reveal that he's gone out of his way to avoid rubbing shoulders with Diddy and his entourage at industry events. While the specifics of their feud have remained shrouded in secrecy, insiders speculate that it may stem from conflicting ideologies or past grievances. Adding fuel to the fire is Ice Cube's once amicable relationship with Cuba Gooding Jr., which has now soured in the wake of shocking revelations. With Ice Cube's recent acquisition of incriminating evidence implicating both Cuba and Diddy in a web of scandal, the dynamics between these former allies have shifted dramatically. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. For Ice Cube, the betrayal cuts deep. After all, it was Cuba who once lent a helping hand during the filming of Boys in the Hood, offering invaluable advice on tapping into raw emotions for a pivotal scene. Yet now, faced with damning accusations of his own, Cuba finds himself at odds with the very person he once considered a friend and mentor. As the scandal unfolds, Cuba has attempted to downplay his involvement, dismissing the allegations as outrageous and unfounded. In a recent interview on the PBD podcast, he expressed disbelief at being dragged into Diddy's legal quagmire, vehemently denying any wrongdoing. I, I can't imagine that he's stupid enough to do whatever he's doing and keep it on his premises. But despite his protestations of innocence, the evidence against Cuba continues to mount with court documents detailing disturbing accounts of sexual harassment and misconduct. And with each passing day, it becomes increasingly clear that his attempts to salvage his reputation are falling on deaf ears. But this guy who's suing him, going after the money, man, I, I'm sure. And by the way, I don't know Pity Diddy's life. I don't know what he's going through. Meanwhile, Ice Cube watches from the sidelines, his resolve hardened by years of battling against the industry's shadowy forces. For him, this isn't just about settling a personal vendetta. It's about exposing the truth and holding those responsible to account. Would they include you all of a sudden in some way? I think because of the darkness of the other grab, grab, grab of the cases that I already had went through. Right. Rumors swirl like a tempest in a teapot within the tight-knit celebrity circles of Hollywood. Whispers echo through plush VIP lounges and exclusive parties, hinting at clandestine dealings and hidden agendas. Insider chatter speculates that someone with privileged access has clandestinely leaked videos from Diddy's notorious private gatherings. These videos, brimming with incriminating moments and compromising situations, allegedly find their way into Ice Cube's hands through clandestine introductions and whispered exchanges in darkened corners. Among the many tapes, some reportedly contain footage that could shatter reputations and careers in one fell swoop. And at the center of it all, none other than Cuba Gooding Jr. caught in compromising situations with the enigmatic Diddy himself. The implications are staggering, with whispers suggesting that Ice Cube holds the power to either blackmail Cuba into submission or annihilate his reputation beyond repair. Yet, Ice Cube is no stranger to the moral quagmires of the entertainment industry. Despite the temptation to wield this damning evidence as a weapon, those who know him best doubt he would stoop to such tactics. After all, Ice Cube builds his reputation on principles of integrity and authenticity, refusing to compromise his values for personal gain. However, Cuba Gooding Jr. seems to view the situation through a different lens. The actor's sudden interview blitz raises eyebrows and fuels speculation about his mounting anxiety. In a recent impromptu interview, Cuba's nerves seem palpable as he vehemently denies any involvement with Diddy or his sordid affairs. We were acquaintances just like I just showed you. Yeah. Two, three times I've seen him, so it's... Oh, so Diddy, you've only seen him two or three times. That's what I'm saying! That's what I'm saying! But despite his protestations of innocence, the cracks in Cuba's facade are beginning to show. Contrary to his claims, evidence surfaces proving that he and Diddy share a history that stretches back years, casting doubt on his credibility. Yet, even as the walls close in around him, Cuba remains defiant, clinging to the hope that his carefully crafted image will shield him from the storm brewing on the horizon. Only time will tell as Hollywood's latest saga continues to unfold, each twist and turn more dramatic than the last. 
Strap in, folks, because this roller coaster ride shows no signs of slowing down. But what do you think about the explosive feud between Ice Cube and Cuba Gooding Jr.? Do you believe Ice Cube holds the power to expose the truth? Or is there more to this story than meets the eye? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and join the conversation. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled and your ears open for all the latest gossip.